Okay, so this is a pretty well-known reaction. Put a penny into acetic acid and hydrogen peroxide, and you get this solution after a while. You can see here the leftover copper acetate solution when it started to evaporate away. Here's a closer shot. You can see the pattern that they evaporated at. Pretty cool. Another interesting tidbit is these bubbles. They have been there forever. They are very resilient to poppage. I don't know why. Okay, and here we are at about four and a half hours of crystal growth. And you can see that as the solution evaporates away, it's creating some, some quite nice crystals. I really like how the copper acetate grows. It almost grows like ice crystals. That's turning out really cool. This is about, say, seven hours into it, or maybe eight. Just a little bit of solution left. I'm betting by the time I wake up tomorrow, it will be all gone. Up next is uh, just a, a bunch of high-res pictures I took and some zoom-ins, so you can see just how intricate the patterns get. Um, I've been doing a lot of experiments lately with crystals, I'm currently trying to grow a huge halite or salt crystal. It's really difficult though because of vibrations and dust and every little variable uh, messes with it. So if anyone has some tips for growing crystals who watches this, go ahead and put them in the comments. Uh, I'll take any advice I can get. Alright, until next time, uh, goodbye.